All right, guys, today I have a little bit of a different uh, card to show you. Now, essentially, to start off, you'd have the spectator pick a card from the middle of the deck, and just like that, hopefully, you can get a card picked. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the card. This is going to be the card that we're going to use um, throughout the trick. Now, from here, let's go ahead. Let's put this into the middle somewhere. I'll show you guys. I'm clearly putting that into the middle. And now, hopefully, let's go ahead. We can mix the cards up a little bit. This way, we have the deck a little bit mixed up for the trick. Now, essentially, at this point, what I'm going to have to try and do is cut a certain amount of the cards. So what I'm going to do is have this die here. We're going to pick a number 10 through 20. Now, I'm not going to pick this on my own. So we have 10 through 20. We have 2 plus 1, which is 3. And then 3, it's going to be uh, 7. And then we got 8. And then we have 13. So at this point, 8 plus 5 equals 13. We have this. What I'm going to try to do is cut a portion of these cards directly at 13, which might be a little bit difficult, but let's go ahead and let's cut these cards to exactly 13. Hopefully, I got this here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got exactly 13 cards, and then this 13th card is actually going to be your guys' ace. Of spades. So this is the card trick, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys. So here's how this one is going to work. Um, it's slightly more advanced than a lot of the ones I post on this channel, but you guys kind of, I'm seeing a lot of comments for something like that. So, anyways, here's how this trick is going to start off. So it's not impromptu. You're going to have a little bit of a setup, but not much. You take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You take exactly fifteen cards. And what you want to do is get a pinky break with these 15 cards directly on top of the deck, just like this. So you have your 15 cards, you have your pinky break. At this point, you're pretty much ready to go. And now what I did in the performance was I went ahead and had you guys say stop whenever. And what you want to do is you want to have the spectators say stop somewhere past the 15 card break mark. So you go ahead, you riffle down lower than the actual mark. And then what you're going to do is pick the deck up from here. Now, I think the performance, I dropped the one card slightly, but you pick it up exactly where they say stop, and you're just going to hold that thumb break in the back as you pick up the cards. This way, you guys still have the break, and you pick up the cards where the spectator said stop. So in this case, we have the three spades. You go ahead, you put the deck back. You're still holding this break at the bottom here. And then you go ahead, and you're going to tell the spectator, okay, this is your card you know, whatever, and you ask them, you could say, you know, go ahead and tell me when to stop, you say stop whenever, you cover up the front, and then you grab uh, the break in the back right over here, you take that break, this is going to be the 15 cards, so now you're holding the 15 cards over here, you go ahead, you take the spectator's card, this is going to go here, you can show them one last time, alright, go ahead, your card's going in the middle, and the reason you do this is so this way you can pull the card back, and then get a pinky break underneath the card, you set the cards on top, and now you have a 16 card break right above their card. In this case, with the three spades. Now, what I did in the performance was I went ahead and I said, All right, let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit. I took the cards from that 16 card break right here, put that on the table. Their card's going to be in the bottom. And then at this point, I branched off another section of the deck and left it out jogged a little bit like this from the back. You can go ahead and keep you know, adding cards on, whatever, but essentially you have this out jog portion, and now what I did, um, if you don't have a table, all you have to do is just uh, double undercut the cards holding a break, but this is a lot easier if you do have a table. You can apply lots of pressure down on towards the deck, and as you're pushing in this entire brick of cards, you're pushing in and down, and from the sides when you pull back up, you're going to have that break in the back, you pick it up, and then you get a pinky break at the bottom with those uh, 16 cards now at the bottom. And then so from here, what you're going to do is a little bit of math. It's really not bad, though. Um, essentially, you're going to have the spectator pick a number 10 through 20. So that's the reason I picked the die, because I didn't want to say the number um, 16, the performance. And obviously, when you guys watch the tutorial, you guys will see uh, he just picked the number 16 because it was easiest. So if they do pick the number 16, all you have to do is be able to cut... To, all you have to do is be able to cut down you have a 16 card packet. So essentially, you have a break at 16 cards. Now let's say they wanted to pick a number like 17. So you know you have six, or actually let's do 18. So you know you have a 16 card packet. 
with the break here. As you're spreading through the cards, they say the number 18, you say, all right, so I'm going to try and cut to exactly eight cards, and you look like you're just kind of looking around the deck, but really you're spreading until you get to that 16 card break, which is right here. So here's a 16 card break, and what you want to do is they said the number 18, so you have to do 16 plus, or 16 minus 18, the difference is going to be two. So you have to add two cards to this bottom packet. So as you're spreading through the deck, you're looking like, okay, they said 18, 18 minus 16, that's going to be two. So you have to add two cards to the break. So as you're, you know, rushing through the deck, you slightly just move over two cards on top of that 16 card break. You can square that up now. You have 18 cards in your left hand. You can continue to spread the deck like this, and then you square up, and then you get a pinky break. So this is going to be what's going to happen if you have uh, a number over. So let's go ahead and take two cards back with the 16 card break again. Let's say they said a number like uh, like you know, like 13. So you go ahead and spread through the deck, you say, all right, so I'm going to try to cut to exactly 13 cards, and you're spreading until you get to that break. And now you know the number's 13. So you go ahead and you do 16 minus 13, which is 3. And since that's less than 16, you have to put back three cards. So as you're spreading through the pack, you go one, two, three, and then you catch that break right here with the 13 cards. You square that back up and you say, all right, I'm going to try to cut to exactly 13 cards. So this is essentially the trick. If they go over, you know, if they go over 16, you're going to have to add cards. If they go under, you have to get rid of them. So I hope that kind of made sense to you, but you now have the break with the 13 cards. And all I did was a, uh, a swivel cut. Now essentially you have the cards here uh, with the thumb break. You swivel over a portion of the cards. And at this point you take this part from the break and you can swivel that with your index. And now here's going to be your 13 card packet. And you go ahead and you deal out the cards. And now since there are cards in the bottom, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th card is going to be there. So I, like I said, guys, I hope this tutorial made sense. And, um, you know, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. That's kind of it, guys. Hope you guys like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.